Now, Karnataka High Court will be resuming the hearing of the pleas challenging state government's ban on hijab inside classrooms. On Monday, the petitioners argued in court that the state government order violates Article 25 of the Constitution and pleaded that Muslim students be allowed to wear hijabs of the same color as the uniform. Whereas the High Court has asked if wearing of the hijab is written in the Quran as an essential religious practice uh, or can it be avoidable. And uh, Karnataka government has also decided to reopen colleges from the 16th of February, which were in fact closed amid the increasing tensions over the hijab controversy. Uh, Chief Minister of the State, uh, Basavaraj Bomai, has also said that everyone must follow the High Court's directions. Igangle High Court direction Kotagi then Yeldru Kuda the Peripalne Madabu Matu on the Shanti to the Vata on the lay with the Kaiko to Kuda, Antima than Tavan Tirpana Kuda Sate E. Mate Berbera Gatnegalo Yella Vishagale, Antima Terre Hard of the K. Tundrek, other than Nana Mani stay High Court Adeshavana, Palne Maduan Tadu. Our school management to the principal or matto our parents nadeve. Adike aurge now bala spastu adanta aje chakotte deve high court aje sun palle maadi ant. Adan maada dikhe now mukto ek budbe ko management to principal or matto parents nadeve. Adan maadi thari do sawar dende bagheer thede nann baune. And joining me on the broadcast is my colleague Revati Rajivan, who is uh, joining me live from Bengaluru. Revati, while the matter is still in court, we have to uh, actually talk about the most important thing that colleges will in fact resume from tomorrow. That's an important development because we here on Mirror Now have been talking about how this particular controversy has completely derailed education in the state. So 16th of February is when the colleges also open up after the schools have opened up. So that's something that we must focus on. Yes, uh, both pre-university and degree colleges, universities will also reopen uh, tomorrow. Uh, this is uh, the hijab controversy specifically is primary around, uh, primarily around students who are in pre-university classes. Uh, yesterday when schools reopened for classes up till 10, uh, fortunately there was no untoward incidents that were reported. Uh, across all districts, like the Chief Minister had directed, there were peace meetings that were held in sensitive areas. The Deputy Commissioners as, as well as the SPs of these districts, Educational Department officials have been in touch with the school management. There have been regular visits to different schools as well to check if everything is in place and that uh, no incidents uh, go wrong, no, uh, in no places things go wrong. Now, uh, in certain places, of course, uh, we did see visuals of uh, women or children who are coming to educational institutions being asked to remove their hijab or burqa outside the gate, outside the campus. There have been concerns based on that as well because the High Court has in its order said that religious symbols or dresses are not allowed within the classroom. So there have been concerns that were raised about uh, whether these educational institutions can actually provide them a room or space within the campus where they can change. But, uh, of course, in a lot of colleges or schools, we saw uh, these visuals from outside the campus, outside the gate, where teachers or students would come, remove their hijab or burqa, and then enter the college premises. Now, tomorrow is when uh, pre-university as well as other higher up uh, colleges will be reopened. Uh, that is where uh, expected the issues were expected, which is, which is why the government decided that they, we will wait for a couple of more days and then reopen when the atmosphere is conducive. So we'll have to see whether uh, the students, the petitioners, who are also disappointed with that interim order, whether they will follow that order or uh, whether the students will choose to stay out of class. Right, Revati. Thank you so much for joining me with all those details there.